Talk about layovers of the rich and famous Hollywood power couple, Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard, getting tossed out of Boston's airport with no available hotels within 50 miles after attempting to camp out at the gate during a nine hour delay. Yeah, don't enter your bedroom. This is perfect. How much money have you spent on blankets and neck pillows? Three hundred and fifty dollars, but then you went and you spent a little bit more. Two hundred and fifty-three for bed sheets. Oh my God! Okay, so we're at six hundred dollars. Could have it's, been a really nice hotel, but they're all taken. Six hundred dollars a night to stay at Boston International. The I mean, if you run into a weather delay, the airline is not going to take care of you. It's all bets are off. So if the celebs aren't safe, nobody is. Despite showering airlines with billions, experts say get ready for. A decade of persistent flight cancellations and delays. America's hard hat wearing transportation secretary, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, likes to pretend that he's fixed everything, you guys. It's clear that some of the work we've done in the short term has paid off. We are holding the airlines accountable for anything under their control. They're running a schedule that they can't service because they don't have the staff to do it. We're going to hold them accountable for that. Yeah, speaking of accountability, if you're thinking about hitting up one of those nude beaches in Europe, Hope you already have your passport. There is a massive backlog with some folks waiting up to four months. Four months, Harold? Four months. So, Harold, I don't want to come at you all hard. You know, I just, I, I need to know. I know Mayor Pete is your guy, and, and you have presidential <coughs> hopes pinned all over him, like pin the tail on the donkey. He is a mule for the airline industry. I think he is carrying their water. It's embarrassing. There's no accountability. And I blame everything on him. What say you, Harold Ford Jr.? So I've not been a fan of how he's handled some of these things. I don't think he's a, a stooge for the, for the airlines. But I don't think they're being serious about the issues that we have. There's no doubt these things are oversubscribed, these, these air, airlines are, or I should say these, these plane rides are. And it's largely because a lot of things that we've talked about around the table, there's so many advertising and marketing things that they're doing, and they can't, they can't withstand it. He's right there. But what he's, what he's not right about is, according to, our, according to the stuff we've looked at today, we are 32,000 pilots, mechanics, and air traffic controllers short. That's where the focus needs to be. Mm -hmm. um, if we're going to relieve people's student loans, we ought to relieve the student loans for those who want to go into these professions because we have such a need there. And then you hold the airlines accountable where he's right about hold them accountable for not doing all this excessive marketing that they can't where they can't meet those demands. Now, I don't understand why you can't stay in an airport if you're supposed to be on a plane that's nine hours late, not, no fault of your own, and you can't get a hotel room. At least those celebrities could afford one, but they couldn't they didn't want to go to one 50 miles away. So what what should everyday Americans do who book their air, book their 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 flights, believing they're going to take off on time and get to their destinations and they don't? What do we expect them to do? I, I'd love to hear the Secretary of Transportation or the airlines or the airport speak to that yeah. as opposed to all of the holding people accountable, all the other stuff they're talking about doing. Let's, let's, let's be accountable to these passengers. Well, like Greg Gutfeld, Jesse, Pete Buttigieg doesn't like to fly commercial. He likes to fly private. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say they're both short. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I can't blame him for that, but we've had a pilot shortage for another oh, no, shortage. There he goes. It's very sad. Uh, we've had a pilot yes. shortage for years. But then during COVID, right. a lot of the airlines were encouraged to let people retire early or just fire them if they wouldn't get vaccinated. Right. So travel stopped. They fired and everybody retired. And then all of a sudden, when it picked back up, they're looking around like, hey, where is everybody? <laughs> the and it takes about two years and 100 Gs to train a pilot. Plus, they do all the airline maintenance overseas. So that's also another issue. Dax is a man, and he should have had a plan. I don't know what that plan was, but that right there is not a plan. <laughs> if I was his wife, I would be livid. Now, you're a celebrity, and as a celebrity, you have to carry yourself with dignity. If I'm someone walking through the airport and I see a celebrity with a neck pillow sleeping on the floor, that's not a good look for us. So us. <laughs> you celebrity. better get it together, Dax. But in a way, though, it's kind of sweet. Yeah. Because when you see a celebrity passed out with a neck pillow, you think, you know what? We're all in this together. <laughs> this even happens to Dax. Yeah, Dak, Dak Shepard. So is it Dax or Dak? Dax. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah Dak Prescott. Dak. Is, is, yeah, yeah. That's Dak the, Rambo. Yeah. The X is silent. Exactly right.
Um, so, Shannon, one of the other big hurdles people are having, having to cancel trips and losing thousands of dollars because their passports have not arrived. Mm -hmm. We're hearing there's up to a four-month backlog mm -hmm. to get your passport because a lot of people have never had one. They have wanderlust now because they were yep. cooped up for three years. So what should people do if they... If they mailed in their application and they haven't gotten their magic book? People are freaking. So yes. they're calling their members of Congress. You'll know about this because they're that. asking, and these offices on the Hill are telling us they are getting inundated with people who are like, oh yeah, now I want to go somewhere. I never had this passport. Can you help me? Um, same thing with a lot of people that were let go, retired. There was a huge backlog during COVID of people at the State Department who can handle this kind of stuff. They're trying to catch up. By the way, my husband did get kicked out of the Boston airport one time too because oh. he was stuck there overnight and he thought, I'll just go sleep on some chairs. And they told him, oh no, sir. And he tried to hide from what the security guards. Do? Just so walk around like sat, a zombie? He sat outside on his bag. He said he watched rats and drug deals oh. until he was allowed back into the airport at like five o'clock in the oh. morning. And on the pilots issue too, someone in my family who may be a retired military pilot went to work for one of the big airlines, loved it, great job, was called by the military and said, we are so desperate for experienced pilots. Is there any chance you would come back? So he now has a sharing deal with his commercial airline and the military so we can fly for the military for a few more years. So there's a shortage all over the yeah, place. They're, so they're the competing military can't recruit. For, yeah. That's a, a problem a, a too. A very small base of employees. So Greg, I know that in just a few short years, you're probably going to be the transportation secretary, which is I, exciting I, for I'm you. I'm thinking about it. I'm, it's, <laughs> it's on my list, my bucket list. Yep. I know yeah, but, you flirted with solutions, but what would you do? Well, here's the thing. I mean, my problem with Fox News is the lies that we tell. Those are not rich and famous people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kristen Bell and Dak Shepard together make one Carney Wilson. <laughs> All right? And... Bed sheets at the airport? I Where know. Did those come from? That, that seems a little bit suspicious to me. I think that. this was all a little dance for their TikTok world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And by the way, you know, you can't, there are countries where you don't need a passport, like Ukraine. <laughs> so <laughs> they're down 32,000 right pilots. And you know what scares me about that is we're going to lower standards, which is what we did with the military and what we did in some cases with the police force. You can actually see that with some officers and their weight issues. Uh, they, can't, they can't chase criminals because they're out of shape. I worry about the pilots. And um, it does kind of feel like all the stuff that used to be good is bad. Hmm. Flying, the beach, Disney, movie theaters, cities. It's like America has suddenly become the house on the block that stopped mowing its lawn, <laughs> picking up the mail and the newspapers. They got a car on the blocks because there's a new owner, right? And the new, and the new owner wasn't <laughs> like, the, the, new, the owner before really was proud of that house. You know, they're like the little old elderly couple and they had, it was manicured and it was well painted and, and they had the best Halloween candy. And they, were, they, and they made gingerbread cookies <laughs> around Christmas. And they, and they, the nice little, they were so sweet. They had, they had a pristine car. It was probably a 1970s, early 70s Chevelle, maybe a Studebaker. But now they moved, maybe they passed on RIP, and said, now we have these <laughs> just disgusting people. And you're seeing the cities go to hell. You're seeing culture go to hell. You're seeing transportation flying, every infrastructure element of life going to hell. Language. I'm sorry, it's Friday and I want to get drunk. <laughs> I thought you already were. To get drunk. Yes. Right. Present tense? Yes, drunk present tense. tense. <laughs> yes, intense. intense. That's the way we're going. All right. Uh, we do have breaking news. President Biden finally talking about the granddaughter oh. that he has shunned. We just mentioned it. We'll hear more of it. Stay with us. Ooh. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.